Hey guys, in this tutorial we're going to create these two iOS screens in Figma and we're also going to explore the prototyping features so this lesson is going to be packed with a lot of useful UI design, workflows and also tips and tricks to help you speed up and work more efficiently in Figma. Now these two screens are part of one of my UI kits and you can click the link in the description in order to find it and uh, but without further ado let's get started so as i'm here in figma the very first thing which i did uh, is to simply copy the two jpegs of the screens and the very first uh, action is going to be going here on the top left uh, click on frame and i'm going to select the iphone x frame now as you can see these two images are a little bit bigger than the actual iPhone artboard so I'm going to make them smaller and uh, let's start with uh, the sign up first so I'm going to click uh, on T and this is going to allow me to um, access the title and uh, I'm going to um, just copy the text the company and uh, for this specific uh, video and uh, for this specific screen actually we used Lato which is a free Google web font. If you do not have Lato uh, you can simply go on Google, um, type Lato and you're going to find that it's absolutely for free so uh, that's uh, uh, pretty cool and uh, overall it's uh, a very good uh, font for UI design. It's uh, being used in a lot of uh, um, for, for a lot of companies and uh, um, just a, a very uh, very useful font overall. So I'm trying to just uh, estimate uh, the font size and again guys I'm not going to go into the much detail of you know making everything extremely per pixel perfect. I just want to have the idea out because uh, uh, of course we want to understand the workflows, we want to make this tutorial all about uh, um, learning the, uh, the main concepts and not focusing on the minor uh, details. So that's that and uh, I'm going to click on the company and I'm going to use Ctrl plus C in order to access the, um, the color picker. Uh, alternatively, you can click here, click here, and you have it. And, uh, oops. So that's that uh, regarding this section of the sign up. Now I'm going to go over here and add the username, or actually, let me make it uh, easier. And by the way, I'm duplicating this by clicking on Shift uh, and also Alt at the same time and just dragging the text. Uh, and uh, this is essentially is making everything easier uh, to just, instead of like copying new text each and every time, uh, creating new from scratch. So that's that. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller and I'm going to use the color picker again by using Ctrl plus C and uh, over here let's make this a little bit um, going to use the uh, bulb over here and let's add the name so for the name and uh, these two I'm going to make them 14 pixels and let's uh, use the same color as we did here. And over here I just created this uh, um, simulation of, uh, a <laughs> of a type, uh, of, of a typing feature action. So yeah, that's, that's that. And uh, I think I'm going to go with 1.5. That's pretty, pretty good measurement. I'm going to use uh, the color picker again then just uh, copy this one, make it a little bit smaller, here we go, perfect, and I'm going to make this uh, darker. So here we go, I think we're, we're pretty set with this, and uh, after, uh, after we have this one, I'm just going to duplicate it a few times, and again guys, I'm using Shift plus Alt, and then uh, I'm going to use this um, this feature, which is Common plus D. And uh, as you can see, I'm duplicating them 
uh, with uh, the same spacing. Now I'm going to select all of these guys and uh, make them grey and uh, I'm going to change the text over here gmod.com I'm going to copy this again and uh, as you can see this uh, part uh, of the process is just about uh, you know getting the all of the things right and uh, for this one I'm going to to cheat a little bit I'm just going to make a, f uh, a few dots uh, I'm going to make the letter spacing a little bit bigger one other thing which you, ca you can do of course is to create uh, a few ellipses so that's that Okay, I think we're we're good. I'm going to give it an opacity of 70. Okay, so here we go. Um, I'm going to create this rectangle, and uh, the rectangle is going to have a little bit of radius in order to make it uh, a little bit more. Friendlier, I guess. User friendlier. I don't even know if this is a thing. I'm just making this up on the spot. Okay, so we have this. Now let's delete the fill and uh, let's add the terms and conditions and. Uh, this is going to allow us to have that too. Now let's create the actual button. So I'm just going to duplicate this shape since we already have it. And I'm just going to eyeball it. And uh, let's remove the stroke and let's make the fill the same as the button. And uh, I'm also going to create to duplicate this, uh, um, this text, make it white add the continue text and uh, we are pretty much set with this I'm going to make it a little bit bigger um, just because it's uh, the primary button so we want to give it a little bit more emphasis and I think we're good with this um, the, la the very last thing uh, which uh, we'll need uh, is this arrow and uh, I'm going to use uh, um, Nucleo for uh, finding out the, uh, the arrow and uh, you can also use uh, um, Google material icons they're for free and they're amazing um, and um, you simply have to go on uh, Google material icon uh, website uh, and uh, which you know you can find it by, by Google it <laughs> and um, yeah you're going to find out uh, find the icon you can download it in SVG uh, that's the recommended format because it's um, it's going to be vector and uh, it just works uh, much better than PNG. It's just a good practice to always use SVGs uh, um, instead of PNGs uh, whenever you can. So yeah, that's good. Okay, so we have the sign up and uh, I'm going to rename it sign up. And uh, the way I renamed it is I simply selected the whole frame uh, and I used command plus R. And that's uh, um, basically allow me to go into the rename mode. So that's that. Now at this point, I'm going, I'm going to simply duplicate this. And uh, over here, I can put the image that we want to um, use. And uh, I'm going to just delete uh, a whole bunch of stuff that we don't need. And I'm going to keep uh, just the minimum essentials. So over here, I'm going to write the congratulations. I think this is a little bit smaller, so let's go in. let's do it like this. Let's drag it, center it, and uh, here's a cool trick, guys. In order to use this emoji, um, you can uh, click on Control plus Command plus Space. Uh, you're going to access all of the emoji library, 
So this is definitely a time saver if you're working on a project which needs emojis. And uh, I'm going to click OK and uh, this allows me to enter the scale tool. And uh, I'm just going to scale it up, similar to this one. And uh, at this point, I can simply go here, use the same text, and uh, I'm also going to center it. And again, center it, center it. And here we go. So I think this is looking pretty good. Now I'm just going to put the, the button up and uh, I'm going to move these uh, here on the button. So let's remove this one. So yeah guys, we, as we have it. I'm going to rename it again by selecting the frame and uh, clicking on Command plus R. And uh, here we go, we have the two iOS screens. Now, let's talk a little bit about the prototyping features in Figma. And by the way, um, I really love the prototyping features because uh, uh, they're built in the software and uh, they're really solid in my opinion. Previously, I used to use Sketch plus Envision, but that could have been a little bit of a pain in some instances, some things, uh, Envision uh, makes it easier, some things Figma makes it easier, so I guess it's uh, each and every one has its pros and cons, but in order to enter the prototype uh, mode, uh, you simply have to click on the top left, uh, on the top right, sorry, uh, under prototype, and uh, you're essentially in prototype mode, and uh, over here you can select uh, which uh, um, which device you want uh, it to be displayed. In this case, we're going to use iPhone X because uh, that's the uh, that's the design that uh, we created for. It was for the iPhone X. You can also change the background, and as you can see, this is going to be uh, the background that we're going to see in the preview mode. So, if for example, we want this blue background, we can simply go ahead and select it, and. Uh, I'm going to select the very first uh, frame which we created and uh, or actually let me do something first uh, which is uh, um, select uh, the uh, starting frame so if I click on present uh, right now as you can see it's going to upload uh, to the um, prototyping mode and uh, as you can see on the very top we're going to have our first file and then the presentation file so it's essentially created two different views from uh, um, compared to the one that we worked on so this uh, is uh, one of the first things that you have to take in consideration and if I go here and uh, for example I want uh, um, that when I click on this button I'm going to go on the congratulations screen um, the way I do it is, well, first of all, I'm going to just group uh, the text uh, and the rectangle uh, so that it's uh, one single group. And uh, as you can see over here, um, an, a novel has been created. So essentially, uh, this is going to enable me to um, make the connection with uh, the other screen or other frames uh, which I want the connection to be. So, in this case, I'm going to select this screen. So, I just drag and drop it on this one. And as you can see, now I can uh, decide the trigger. So, is it going to happen when uh, I'm tapping on it? So, basically, when I'm, when I'm clicking on this. Or is it going to happen when uh, I'm uh, hovering or pressing or one of the other uh, features? So, we're going to leave on top. Uh, and if you go back uh, on the presentation and I click uh, on the button, you can see that I'm now redirected to the following screen. Now, let's say that uh, I want uh, to go back. So I want to click on this uh, back uh, icon. I'm just going to do the same. While I'm in prototyping mode, I'm just going to click on the arrow. I'm going to click on this uh, circle go it back to the other screen and I'm going to leave it on, on top. And uh, if you see, uh, we essentially go, can go back and forward and uh, the prototype is essentially established. So 
this is it for this lesson. Um, I'm going to go much more into the details of prototyping Figma in uh, another video. But uh, I hope you liked this uh, iOS tutorial. And again, guys, this is part of uh, one of my UI kits, which uh, you can you can find down in the link in the description. And uh, if you like this video, please leave a thumbs up. Uh, this motivates me to create more videos. And uh, also feel free to leave a comment, uh, uh, let me know your thoughts. And uh, if you have uh, any specific questions about creating an iOS design in uh, Figma or uh, any UI UX uh, design related questions, um, I'm always happy to hear from you and uh, I always try to help whenever I can. So this is it for this video and uh, I'll see you in the next one.